Hey everyone, it's Joy here and welcome back for another Lawn Fawn video. Today I made a watercolored card using the Ocean Shelfie Stamp and Coordinating Die. Now I also used a, a bunch of other products, but here's the Ocean Shelfie Stamp Set, then the Mermaid for You, and the Fantastic Friends. I just used a few images from these other stamp sets because they fit in perfectly with the theme that I was using. Now I'm also using the Watercolor Wishes paper, the six by six paper pad, and it's a bunch of blues, so it's definitely like under the water feel, but because it was watercolored, I thought, you know, I'm gonna color these images with my Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers, which can give you that watercolor look. So for this big ginormous octopus, this is from the Ocean Shelfie stamp set, I am using dark pink and bright yellow and I know it kind of looks like a hot mess but I want these colors to mix because I want it to look like almost like maybe the octopus was starting to change colors and so that's where I'm getting my inspiration from and I promise that this will turn out better as I blend it. So I am using some watercolor cardstock. I have stamped my images with jet black ink and I like to use my Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers with water. You can use them without, but I'm using it with water. And so I, as you can see, I am coloring, I'm laying down some of my color, then I'm dipping my water brush pen. I don't have any water in it, so I would just say probably like a regular paintbrush would work just fine. But I dip it in some water and I tap the water off a little bit on my paper towel and then I bring it to the color to kind of spread it out. I don't like to use a ton of water because I feel like I don't have as much control. So I use just a little bit of water. Also, if I get too much color on my brush, I will also wipe that off onto my uh, dry paper towel just like I did there because as I'm wanting to blend down, I want that color to get lighter. I am using two colors per image because I really want them to be fun and different colors. So I'm using Persian blue and Persian green for this little smaller octopus. And I love how his little tentacles are everywhere. So he's actually going to be doing an activity on this card, which you guys will see in just a little bit. So I'm blending in the Persian green is at the bottom with the Persian blue at the top. And as you can see, that just blends so nicely with just the tiniest bit of water. You have to use the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers on watercolor paper. It will not work on regular cardstock. It just, the ink does not move around. So I'm just gonna finish with his little spots. And then we've got some of these other images. We've got two of the little jellyfish. We have a couple rocks, some bubbles, seaweed, a sand castle, which I thought would be really cute, and some seashells and a starfish. I am using deep violet on that first one. And then the second one is the lilac. And then I'm just bringing in the pink and the Persian green. I'm just adding some dots to add a little bit of character to these guys. I feel like the dots just add some more texture to the surface. So like, especially, you know, like on these little octopus and things like that, but even on furry creatures, adding some dots just makes it look like it just has more texture to the fur, to the skin or whatever it is. Okay, I am using uh, beige and oatmeal for the sand castle. And I just think this is such a cute, cute little sand castle. I believe this is from the Fantastic Friends stamp set. Then we have the little starfish. We have two seashells. I have two things of seaweed that I'm using mid green to color both of those, just keeping it really simple. I have these rocks that I'm using mid brown on, and then I'm gonna use the pink and bright yellow for the uh, piece of coral there. I'm gonna use the pink first, and then I'm gonna blend in a little bit of the bright yellow. And as you can see, I'm rubbing my uh, markers on my work surface and just dipping my brush in water. This is to make it a little bit lighter if I don't want to have such a dark color by taking the zig directly to the image, 
I can make it a little bit lighter, depending on how much water you add, can really make it super light or just a little bit darker. Then I have the bubbles with the blue and the purple. And then we have all of our super cute images. Now I have used the Slimline Stitched Hillside Borders die. I have die cut two of those. This is gonna be our sand. And I'm using the beige and oatmeal for the sand. I want that to be the same color as the uh, sand castle because obviously that makes sense. And I'm just using a bigger uh, water brush pen or just a bigger paintbrush to add a ton of water and just to really blend those colors together. So as you can see, I'm just laying it down kind of sloppy and then just bringing in a decent amount of water and just kind of getting a good blend, but I want it to not be perfect. Now here is that watercolor wishes paper. And as you can see, the sand really kind of is similar to this watercolor cardstock. I trimmed, or excuse me, watercolor paper. I trimmed it to six inches by three inches because a mini slim line is six and a half by three and a half. I'm using the sentiment that says, you octopi my thoughts from the ocean shelfie. I stamped it with black, with jet black ink, trimmed it out with my paper trimmer and I'm popping it up with some foam tape. And I have everything laid out, but I wanted to get my sentiment down first and then I can start placing all of my little guys. And I just thought this card would be so cute with all of these little octopi and uh, jellyfish. I just thought that would be really fun. I think they're so colorful. You can get away with a ton of color. Their little bodies are just so, so cute. And I just, I thought it would be a fantastic little card. Usually I put other fish or things like that, but not this time. So some of these images will be popped up with foam tape. Some will be adhered directly to the background. That little bottom octopus, the one that I loved, all of his little tentacles will be, I want him to look like he is building that sand castle. And I think his little tentacles are perfect for that. I did pop him up with foam tape, even though he is already on an area that's popped up. But I just really thought that that would add just an extra fun look. I love dimension on my card, so I try to put it everywhere. That little starfish is going to be on the bottom and I will trim that off. I'm not gonna trim off anything else that's hanging over the side because it's gonna hang over onto the actual card base, but I will trim off the bottom because I do want that to be flat. So I will adhere my little coral. My little star is gonna also have some foam tape. And then I have the, the rocks and the other couple seashells. And I want to adhere those so that one in front of the other so that also has dimension. I did tuck one of the seaweeds behind the hill. And then I have the other little rock in front that I originally had foam tape behind, but I decided to take that off. I just didn't love how that looked. And then I can place the other two seashells around. Now, I wanted to add a little bit of shimmer and shine to this card. So I decided to bring in the liquid stardust, which is so gorgeous. And you know, sometimes sand just kind of glimmers and I really wanted this to glimmer. So first I wanna add some shadows with the beige or oatmeal um, zig marker. I'm just adding some lines underneath all of the things that are sitting in the sand so it looks like it has a shadow underneath. And I'm not gonna blend that out with water. So I'm just gonna add that, and then I'm gonna add some dots around just so it gives the sand some texture. Then I'm gonna bring in that uh, star, the liquid stardust, and I'm just gonna add little dots around where I already put the dots from the zig marker. I also decided to add some of this to all of the little critters where we added the dots as well. I colored in the whole little sand castle because I felt like that should be completely shiny. And then I'm gonna add it to the cute little octopus and the little uh, jellyfish. Then I have my black glaze pen that I'm taking to all of the eyes. And then once that dries, I can use my white gel pen to add some more detail to that. And then I'm gonna add some highlights to their bodies. And then those little guys are so cute and shiny and sparkly. 
and they look kind of wet, which I love. I think I love that about the white highlights. And this mini slimline card is totally complete. It's just a fun, simple little scene card with a fun little activity, and all these critters are so darling. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. I hope that you enjoyed this project, and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye!